So I was 21 when we met, I was 23 when we got engaged, and I was 24 when we got married. We'd been together for three years at that point. I probably would have said, just hold on, you know, hold on, it's a wild ride. <laughs> when you think about the first time that we met, what do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> um, I remember being on a shit ton of mushrooms <laughs> and being 21 years old. And I remember you dropping down on on your knees in front of me and grabbing my waist and me being in total shock at who was this guy and you just being really cute and total magic. Just, um, I remember being so blown away by who you were and what I saw you to be in such a quick moment of time that it seemed that the facts of our meeting, in the words of Brock Travis, were completely inconsequential to the amount of feeling that I felt in the moment and that I needed to pay attention. And I did. And then I remember knowing I was moving out to Atlanta five days later after meeting you. That's what I think of. Do you think I'm ready to be a parent? Why or why not? There's not an aspect of it that I don't see you not ready to embrace, whether it's listening, whether it's admitting that maybe you didn't do something quite right and trying to do it better next time, whether it's just making sure that this child feels so unconditionally loved and supported. There's not an aspect of parenting that I don't feel like if you don't already innately have inside of your being that you aren't ready to just ebb and flow into. So yeah, I think you're ready to be a parent. <clears throat> what do you remember from the birth of our baby? I remember a lot. I remember a lot. I remember the elation of when your water broke. I remember walking to try to move things along and you having that insight about everybody is someone's baby. Every, any homeless person you see, anyone you ever see, they're someone's baby. And I just remember being so incredibly overwhelmed with how simple and yet profound that insight was. I remember trying and trying and trying and trying for 50 hours. I'm feeling so helpless. There's nothing I could do. There's nothing I could do to move it along. What has surprised you about me being a father? how much you want to do it. You so genuinely, so, so fiercely want to be with our daughter as much as you possibly can. I, I just, I see it, you know? I see you literally like raising your hand as quickly and as fast as possible when an opportunity presents itself, <laughs> even if it's like four in the morning. <laughs> and I'm tapping out. <laughs> <laughs> ben Digger. And you're like, come on, Naya, let's go read books in the living room. <laughs> and then you come back and you're like, we just had the most special time. <laughs> and it's the sweetest thing I've ever seen. And it's so sweet seeing this special, intimate relationship that you two are building as 
father and daughter and um and you you are you want to do it so badly what's your favorite thing about your mommy um i love my mommy yeah yeah why do you why do you love your mommy so much because because poop <laughs> because why because poop <laughs> <laughs> When is the moment that you knew you wanted to have kids? I think you knew we wanted to have kids this <laughs> before I knew. Way before. <laughs> um, and that's not, in so let me back up. Um, when I first met you, I had just turned 21 and I was like ready to have 10 billion Benjamin babies like right out of the gate. I'm like, this is gonna be my trap him method. I'll have all of his children and it'll be perfect and we'll be together forever and so on and so forth. Like it was like the sexiest thing I could conceive of in my you know, hormonal 21 year old body was to have all of your babies, every single one of them. Um, and, uh, and, and then I started to really unfold as my own woman. And, um, you know, the timing of that, I think, paralleled a lot, really paralleled the beginning of our relationship. Um, you celebrated these aspects of myself I hadn't claimed yet, I hadn't really looked at. And you were really adamant about how special children was going to be and what an what an experience it was going to be and how different it was going to be and gave me the space of like, okay, you know, like this is, this is a moment in our lives where we can do this and bring it out, bring it about gracefully. And I knew I wanted to have kids and I knew I wanted to have kids with you more than anyone else in the entire world. Having your children was something that was incredibly exciting and fulfilling. That child being the child of us, and then it was that child being her, being Naya, and falling in love with who she was, not just what she was, which was your daughter, but who she was. And that was a really amazing unfolding. And it's happening again with number two. You're telling me, hey, there could be really something special in having two, this sibling dynamic, these things, and I know you're better at flexing that muscle than I am. And so I, I'm trusting again, even though I'm, I'm freaking out inside, I'm, I'm terrified to some extent of having a newborn. And it's so much work and it's so, so much service and so much service of my body and my time. It's really scary thinking about doing it again. Um, but I know that we can do it. And I know that you're seeing something again that I'm not seeing fully. So I'm trusting and we're starting to try for number two. Sorry, that was a really long answer. <laughs> In the hardest of times, what made you choose to stay with me? It's a good question. Um, this is really hard. Mm. This is really hard. It's, uh, um, it's going back to a really, yeah. really painful place. Um, and trying to connect to how I was, how I was making decisions, what I was thinking, what I was feeling. Um, really hard to do that. <sighs> so angry. So angry. God, it just sounds fucked up to say. Um, it was like there was there was just there was a genuine. It felt like a genuine sense of 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 remorse. Um, 
it was that thread, that thread of um, genuine remorse that I think just let me, without context and without any of the stuff that was going on, uh, reconnect to you. And asking myself, is this a woman that I want to be with? And it was yes. It was yes. And it's like, absolutely. I don't want to be with her if this is what our relationship is like. But I absolutely want to be with this woman. This person in front of me, right here, right now, outside of all of these contexts, yes, I want to be with this person. Now we need to see if we can make it work. And that was the task ahead of us, and we did. What's your greatest concern with us having a second baby and why? I think my greatest concern is is feeling further away from you. You know, my my issue is uh, feeling left out, feeling seen, um, and feeling appreciated. And there's no question that. <laughs> Shit, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> so, you know, my experience with number one of. No matter how hard I try, no matter how much time I put in, I'm not the one who's wanted. I'm not. I'm not the person, I'm not the preference. And um, part of me has been glad that it happened to me because I feel like it would have been easier, it was easier for me than it would have been for you. Um, but we're going on like four years now of dealing with that. And that has been so hard for me. Um, and one of my biggest fears is having it be even worse is now it's like, it's a two person club and it's like, okay, I'm not a part of the two person club, but a three person club, um, I'm, I'm, I'm even more fearful of feeling even further apart. We're from feeling as though I belong mm. to the core, which is you guys. Hmm. What experience are you looking forward to most in the addition of the new member of our family? Getting to watch Naya be a big sister. Hmm. You know, like she's already saying, like, I'm so excited for my baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's already her baby. If only it was that simple. <laughs> it's so sweet. Yeah. Um, and that's the thing I, I just, I can't anticipate, uh, is getting to watch this sibling dynamic unfold. That feels like such an area of newness, mm. you know. And of course, like, you know, raising another child with you. And having another little being in this world that we can give, you know, hopefully a really good start to life and just support and all those good things, hopefully raise another good human being. It feels really meaningful. What do I do and what does make you happy? <laughs> what do you do that makes me happy? Mm. When you are silly, it makes me happy. When you make funny faces, it makes me happy, it makes me smile. When... I'm just a piggy. Okay, the piggy needs to take a rest. <laughs> piggy needs to take a rest. Okay, you did a really good job. What is a memory? that you never want to forget from this past year? I think it was four weeks ago that we all got the flu. 
Hmm. And you were on Naya, and I was on because he was inconsolable. And um, I remember just, you know, holding him in the middle of the night, and it's completely dark, and we're just both burning so hot, and all I wanted to do was just lie on my bed and sleep. And I had this little baby who was completely dependent on me, you know, for his well-being. And, um, and so time and time again, I got up out of that fucking bed and I just stood there and rocked him and held him because it was the only way he would sleep. And he would just keep crying and crying and just kept singing to him. Like literally all night long, <laughs> I'm here with you. I'm here, I love you, mama loves you, mama's here. And we just, you know, we got through night after night. And just that sweet moment of just feeling so fully this, it's like that, the depths of parental love. Where is there room for growth in our relationship? In order to achieve growth, one must spend time on something. Yes. <laughs> and that's and that for me is, uh, I was just saying to you before, mm. just how much I miss you. Yeah. I just miss you so much. I miss uh, you so much. And, uh, you know, that's something that I think we were really... <laughs> I mentioned this the other night when... <laughs> We passed by each other in the bathroom at 12.15 <laughs> a.m. <clears throat> and uh, it was the first chance I had gotten to really just um, get to take a moment and just be present with you. And I, and I said that I missed you. And, you know, the other part was the feeling of being back to back. Mm. How do you explain our connection? I would describe, and I know I'm using a different word than explain, but I would describe our relationship as in that equation, you know, of luck. Mm. You know, I met this stunningly handsome, articulate man who just lit me on fire and who I could think of nothing less than wanting to be with for every waking moment of my day. And 15 years later, I have put in minute upon hour, upon day, upon year of work because I love you so much. I love you so much. You're worth every moment of effort. 10,000 fold. Mm. And it is, it is a joy to labor by your side and working in our connection and to connect with one another. 